guys, so this is my first video. Um, today I'm going to my uni and I will be getting an ECG for the first time. So I'm really excited and I hope you guys enjoy it. Learn something. So Emma, the doctor just wants us to do a cardiograph, which is just looking at the electrical part of your heart, which um, helps to pump, make your heart pump. It's not actually looking at the pump side. Um, just to see if that's all normal. Um, it's just a routine procedure. It takes quite a bit of, I've got to, I'm going to put lots of sticky leads all over your chest and around your heart so that we're looking at all the part of your heart. Um, it does take a little while to set up, um, but the actual procedure itself only takes um, less than a minute. It's not going to hurt you at all, um, except for my cold hands and the cold sticky thickness. Um, but what I want you to do is when, when I'm doing it, um, when I'm set up, I'll tell you that I'm ready. And I just want you to relax and just breathe away normally. We won't talk at that time, so I just need you to be still for that little time. But up until then, you can talk, or if you've got any questions, you can um, talk about that. Have you got any questions? No. Okay. So um, I like to do the limb leads first so that I'm not exposing the chest. I'm exposing the chest for the smallest amount of time. And so to do that, instead of pulling the blankets completely off and leaving them cold, or um, especially in this room where it's cold, um, I'll, I'll untuck their blankets so that only their feet are exposed rather than um, pulling it all down and then their whole body is exposed. So they're two limb leads and they're two limb leads. And then the chest leads, if you have them in your sections of three and three. Okay. They're all marked and they've got their different numbers on them. Okay. So that's my, around this side one, so that's my central one. <coughs> So it says left leg, left arm. So we don't put them on bony prominences, so just on the inside here is fine. If, if your patient, if you can't put them on their limbs, you can actually put them down here on their torso and up here on their shoulder. You don't get as, as good a reading, so if you can use down here, it's better. So with these ones, that clip comes up, I slide it on and I clip it in place. Make sure you don't clip the person's skin. Okay, right leg. So this is where sometimes if that AVF is positive when it should be negative, I've put the limb leads on the wrong side. So just check that. If it's positive, just check your limb placements. And I know with the doctor's OSCEs, they do it deliberately to them to make sure that they're checking everything. Okay, so I don't want to put them on Emma's bony prominences again. So just come up slightly and we don't want to put them on a joint. So there's fine. And of course, we have a gorgeous young model here. It's not what gonna happen like that in the real place. So Okay, so <coughs> what space was it again that I had to come down to? Okay. So here's a clavicle, so then I can feel in here. So fourth is here. And then the other side mirrors the same. So you feel the ribs and you feel the space in between. Okay. Now the next one is going to come down the clavicle and just under into the fifth. You can feel the intercostal space. So the next one's going to come in between. So if you had a really large lady, you might have to go under the breast or just slightly onto the onto the breast. Um, and so then we move around in this straight line, around here, and the last one is mid axilla. So when you're doing that, you can just be only be exposing as, as for as little of amount of time as you possibly can. And then they're just numbered. So do those three together and then those three together. And that's um, so then you're not um, she's not gonna get cold or exposed, thinking that, you know, I'm a stranger, it's, how, would, how would you be feeling if somebody was, you know, doing this to you? Okay, so they're all on, and I'm just going to cover up because there's no need for her to be. Okay, so 
that's it. It has given me her QRS intervals, it's given me her rate, it's given me everything and it has actually said that it's a normal, she's a normal Simon's rhythm and it's a normal. But because normal Emma heart. is a nice young fit person and I imagine she's got a nice little tight heart that's beating beautifully, the QRS complex is pretty much straight up and down. So it, the, the um, electrical current going through her heart is not delayed. So you're looking at the distance between QRS and T, those intervals, it's like boom, boom. So it's relaxing. So that interval is nice and quick because she hasn't got any cardiac abnormalities or things like that. So see how the AVR is positive? It's not greatly marked on Emma because she's probably a nice fit young person. Um, but it says normal sinus rhythm. It talks about access deviation, ST and wave abnormality, abnormal ECG. So if that's positive, check your wing legs. All right, that's the end of my video and I had a lot of fun. Hope you guys maybe learned something or at least got to see a chick with their top off. Um, yeah, see you again soon.